you can see it's a, a rather blowy day but the sun's out and uh, this is um, in memory of Remembrance Sunday. It's a nice little uh, memorial here. I'm going to head up Church Lane. Um, go and go and see what the church looks like. It's a very tall spire. Yeah, later on I'm going to find a pub before the old lockdown measures come in. I think it's Wednesday evening's the last opportunity to have a beer so I'm gonna find a nice village pub a bit later on but yeah this lovely old house view it's the rectory is that a rabbit it's a big rabbit yeah it's gonna it's get you can see it's rather blowy See if we can find some information about the church. It's quite closed. Yeah, it's closed. I assume they're not doing Sunday services at the moment. Is the door hit? No, these are all going to be locked. I'm pretty sure they're all going to be locked. Quite a, quite a small population. Let's go and uh, have a quick explore. <clears throat> so it's quite a mild but blowy autumnal day. But the colours of the trees this time of year is absolutely lovely. But yeah, there's, there's quite a few little quirky shops and um, cafes in this town a couple a couple of pubs and then obviously the Kimbolton school which used to be a a castle I'm sure there's been many a lively night here at the Mandeville town hall the uh the relator outside there as you can see there's some uh lovely old houses around here Quite a wealthy town, quite well to do. You can see with the car going past there, a nice Porsche, and another Porsche. Look at Cromer Road, uh, Cromer House there, that's a nice house. And Carnaby House. Oh, what's this going to down here then? So, Back that way is where we're going to be heading next. That's where the high street is. But I thought I'd quickly go down here, so it's down here. I'm not sure if it's just houses down there, but it's very nice. Yeah, it doesn't lead to anywhere. Look at these lovely old houses. Uh, look overlook at this church here. But these are quite freaky. These things. What are they? Are they dragons up there? Love these doors though. Beautiful. Shame that um, all the churches seem to be closed today. Not sure if it's because of all the restrictions that are now in place. But it'd be quite good to have gone inside. Maybe a, a later video when things have changed a bit. I'll better get in. So this little entrance gate here is actually called a lynch gate, and basically the, these were used back in the day um, to store the coffin of the deceased um, before 
the funeral would take place. So this would keep them, uh, keep it dry. But yeah, it's very interesting. But yeah, now we're on the high street itself. As you can see, there's a nice wide, very wide high street. Plenty of free parking, but very wide. So you've got a lot of um, small independent shops. So you've got it's a pharmacy there. I'm not sure what's happened to this building. But I love that. Another empty shop. This shop is now closed. Huge thanks to all of you for making it such fun over the last five years. Such a shame. Got my antique shop. Open Saturday and Sunday. Doesn't look very open though. So there's a little bit of information here about Kim Bolton. Um, it's saying that in the 1086 Doomsday book that Kim Bolton had a church and a population of about 500. It's quite a lot really. Back not a particularly big town now and then uh, by the early 1200s there was already a castle on its present site so that's where we're going to go to next King Henry VIII's first wife Catherine of Aragon died at the castle in 1536 at the same time as Kim Bolton School was founded in the courtyard oh, very interesting we're going to have a look at the castle now but I love this love it this is Kim Bolton House. I think they're converted into apartments these days, but lovely. I love the function. It's to the school, which is also the castle. Um, not sure if I'm going to get in. I'll give it a go. I'm not meant to be going in here, I don't think. And I know there's quite a lot of cameras about. Let's see what we can do. So this here would have been the castle. What an amazing building. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's a really nice place. Should we go around? I was gonna go around the corner quickly and then we'll head up to the uh, high street along here and I'm uh, going to grab a pub or well, grab a pint sorry in the pub at the saddle it's some lovely walks around the village actually on the outskirts of all the town it's lovely lovely views um, but, yeah. but yeah it's uh, really nice I'm absolutely loving the style of this shop um, proper old school Love these bars across the windows as well. Loving it. I think it's um, gentleman's um, clothes shop. Yeah, it's been around for over 160 years. It's like a sort of nice coffee shop. It's permanently closed at the moment. I'm loving that coffee machine, good old Queen Victoria. Um, another sort of quirky sort of antique store, good old vintage store. Go to the, the Saddle Inn for, for a quick pint. A much needed pint.
concludes my visit to Kimbolton today. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and see you on the next adventure very soon. Thank you. Is that? That's Spaldwick. That's the church, the bridge, and there's a windmill. It must be a windmill. This looks absolutely brilliant. What have you got? Or what have we both got? Uh, it's a like, sticky ribs grazing board, but it's absolutely bloody massive. It's a good job I went to the gym this morning. <laughs> So, yeah, this is the outside. <laughs> you can see it's a lot of What have you got there, Matthew? Calippo? No, what have I got? You put Seville. Orange. No, Seville. Yeah, it's like front trace, so it's like an orangey. Let's stir it up. Mine's a coffee calypso. I can't remember what it was. Oh, Tia Maria. And you've got an after eight. Very good. Mine's, um, it's very it's nice. It's orange, isn't it's it? It's a bit sick now. Yeah, I was going to say, nice. you should have perhaps gone for my one. Yeah, I don't know why I went for the sweetest option going. The most sickly option, but... Onwards and upwards, I suppose. I can almost see your stomach expanding. <laughs> it's getting silly. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, it's only bloody, um, wait, 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 innit? Is it? Mm. Sounds quite cheesy, isn't it? Matty's had too much sugar. <laughs> oh, so full. What Matty doesn't realise is there's a mirror there, and every time the bloke comes in from behind him, I think he spots him dancing. <laughs> Nice fireplace. Is it actually? Is it actually? Is it a fireplace? Yeah, it's got a bit there. I'm not sure if it was an old album, but it has. Um, yeah, I think it's it sort, sort, sort of like a stovey thing. That looks like it's seen better days. Don't, don't, don't cross it fucking ain't. Do you think what? This stove's going to have that stuck, stuck oh, on I'm it. Sure. Yeah. What might be another feature to it? It's just silly. <laughs> You've got, the, you've got the bank card. Yeah, I thought that means, yeah. Time yeah. out. Time out, that's it. Time out, ready for an afternoon. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> <laughs>